This is lesson 8, 4, part 1. In this lesson, we will learn how to simplify rational expressions. So first we have um, this rational expression where the numerator is a quadratic and the denominator is a quadratic. So in order to simplify it, what we would do is first factor. So we can factor this quadratic as x plus 2 and x plus 5. And the denominator can factor as x minus 5 and x plus 2. So since we have matching factors, numerator and denominator, we can uh, cancel those factors, x plus 2. And so we end up with our simplified form is x plus 5 over x minus 5. So we have simplified. Next we want to state the restrictions on the variable. So this, um, this equation or this expression is equal to this expression whenever x is any real number except for anything that makes the denominator equal 0. So restrictions on the denominator are that x cannot equal 5 because that would make the denominator equal 0. And it also cannot equal 2, even though we've canceled that factor, negative 2 in the denominator would be undefined. So here we're factoring a couple of monomials. So this is um, division. So we're dividing negative 6 into 24. That's going to go negative 4 times. When we're looking at our x's here, that means we are subtracting the exponents. So 3 minus 2 is 1. That leaves us with 1x in the numerator. And looking at our y values, our y values have more y's in the denominator than the numerator. So 3 minus 2 is 1. And we have the leftover in the denominator. Okay, for this one, we also want to state our restrictions. So since we have two different variables in the denominator, we have to have restrictions for both. So what would make the denominator equal 0 is if x equals 0, so that's restricted. And if y is equal to 0, that would also make the denominator equal 0, so y cannot be equal to 0 either. Okay, here we are multiplying rational expressions. And to multiply, this is similar to when you multiply fractions, you want to do some canceling, if at all possible. So rather than foiling these numerators together, we will factor and cancel and then multiply whatever's left. So this expression will factor as x plus 3 and x minus 2. Our x minus 5 does not factor, so we'll just leave that as x minus 5. On the right side, we have x squared minus 25. That's going to factor as x plus 5 and x minus 5. And our denominator will factor as x plus 3 and x plus 1. So once we have it all factored, then we can cancel any factors that are matching from the numerator to the denominator. So I have this x plus 3 that can be canceled with this x plus 3 in the denominator. And I have an x plus 5 in this denominator that will cancel with x plus 5 in the numerator. Once I have finished canceling, then whatever's left will be our simplified version. So x minus 2 times x plus 5 over x plus 1. So simplified version. If you want, you can multiply the factors together in the numerator. If you don't, just leave it like it is. So the restrictions on the variable, x cannot equal anything that makes the denominator equal 0. So x cannot equal 5 because of our first fraction. x cannot equal negative 3 or negative 1 because of our second fraction. 